Well, now for something completely different. Uh, we've been looking at uh, a global and uh, very uh, far in the future uh, problems. Um, in a wonderful way, um, what I'm going to do is to take a very different perspective, uh, thinking about our evolution and what it tells us about a very specific problem that faces us today in terms of how we understand our nutritional advice. So uh, I'll be thinking about why these people are happy. Uh, they are happy not just because they've, they've killed a bush pig, but also because they are cooking it. Now, the significance of cooking uh, is something that in all sorts of ways has not been appreciated, I think, until uh, relatively recently. And part of the problem is uh, represented by what Marion Nussel says here, a biochemist who was invited by her university to teach a course on human nutrition. So this is what she says. I just went to the bookstore and bought a whole bunch of nutritional textbooks. I had about eight of them, and I laid them out on a table and opened them all to the page that talked about human nutritional requirements, and they were all different. And for those of you who get a little bit confused about whether or not you should be eating such and such a breakfast cereal or how much fat you should put in your diet or whatever, the same, I think, applies today as when uh, Marion Nussel uh, wrote that and uh, has subsequently written a whole bunch of wonderful books. So I want to talk about the problem of calorie counting, which is totally unsolved in terms of uh, the information available to people today with respect to some of the factors affecting it. 